Most of the appliances in your house that need uh, mains electricity will have a mains plug on the end of their cable. And here is a mains plug. Its back has been taken off so that we can see how it is wired inside. There are some parts here that you need to be able to identify, so let's go through those now. First of all, the live wire. This carries the 240 volts of electricity. That's where all the energy comes from. In order to make a circuit, we need to have a return path, and that return path is through the neutral wire. This is like the, the positive and negative of a battery. Positive is the live, the negative is the neutral. We also have an earth wire, an earth wire, and all appliances that have metal casings will be connected, that casing will be connected to the earth wire, and that prevents electric shocks just in case that casing becomes connected to the live supply. The, the earth wire will protect the um, will protect against an electric shock and there's more on that in a different flashcard. Another feature here is the fuse. The fuse will blow if the current becomes too high and that cuts off the the live connection, the live wire and therefore makes the appliance safe. We've got two other things here. We've got outer insulation. Outer insulation. You see, in a cable, there are actually two layers of insulation. You have the, the inner insulation for each of the, the wires, so the brown insulation, the blue, and the green and yellow. And then around that, you have this white outer insulation. And notice that the cable grip is gripping. Oh, sorry, I should say that this is the cable grip. might help if I showed you that first. And the cable grip grips the outer insulation. You screw these uh, screws down here, and that keeps everything nice and tight inside here and stops these wires from being pulled out accidentally. So there are two types of cable, three core cable and two core cable. The three core has an earth wire, which is this green and yellow wire and this is going to be for appliances which have a metal case. The two core cable is for appliances that don't have a metal case and these appliances are called double insulated and there's another flashcard on that later on. Notice there's no earth wire because the, the casing of the appliance will be plastic which is an insulator itself. There's no need for that earth wire to be connected to the casing. Some common faults with wiring a plug. See if you can spot some faults here. Well, here's one. We've got an insulation break in the live wire. That could be dangerous if it touches or perhaps it would make a short circuit with another of these connections. The earth wire should be routed around this um, raised part of the plug. Uh, the cover of the plug actually screws into here into this hole and so that will press on this earth wire and could break it. So there's a fault. Here's an obvious fault. We've got frayed wires. We've got little strands of, of neutral wires poking out of the connection here and, and those present a safety hazard. They could touch other parts of the plug if they're too long. And finally the cable grip is not gripping the outer insulation. It's gripping the inner insulation. So that's actually not um, uh, that's actually a safety issue and uh, we should push this cable further in so that the cable grip um, grips the outer, insu in outer insulation there. Okay finally you notice there's a bonus part to this flashcard. Why are the live and neutral pins above half black? Oops, half black. You see there's a little half black there and half black there. Well, this is a safety feature, and when you push a plug into the socket, in the first case here, we're not yet connected to the socket. There's no 240 volts about to be put into the supply, uh, into the plug, because 
it hasn't made contact yet. It's only partially put in. And so even if I were to put my hand in there and touch this bit, it wouldn't be connected and I wouldn't get an electric shock. However, if I pull, push it in a bit further, I can still get a finger in here. And if, but even if I did and tried to touch the live pin, I couldn't touch the brass bit of the pin. I would only be able to touch that black part. And the black part is insulation. So that is, is an insulation and it stops perhaps small children from putting their fingers in inside a plug that's maybe being pulled out a bit by accident and electrocuting themselves. So that it's a safety, um, a safety factor. And there we have it. So that is uh, a mains plug and how it is wired. Make sure you know these names of the, the bits inside here and make sure you understand what common faults could be when you wire a plug.